Welcome to the latest in the Compliance Factory's series of conversations about money laundering. My name is Adam Samuel and I'm with anti-money laundering remediation project expert Malachi McClelland and today we're going to talk about ongoing monitoring. How does ongoing monitoring emerge in a remediation project? What role does it play? Well the remediation project may not have arisen because of any shortcomings on the ongoing monitoring that may very likely certainly for for KYC and client due diligence pro remediation projects it, it very often emerges because of failure to collect the correct uh, client due diligence at the outset. But the ongoing monitoring is a requirement to continue to ensure that you have uh, know your client information right throughout the relationship. So you come into a remediation project and you're almost doing the ongoing monitoring for the team as part of the, the project. Well, no, that shouldn't be what happens. I mean, there is a danger, I think, that sometimes firms just don't have the correct information and, and, and maybe fall into the trap or will do a remediation at some point. Um, and maybe they're required to do a remediation. But they should be doing regular reviews in any event, uh, periodic reviews on the, on the clients. But to what extent does a failure at the front end when you accept the client typically damage the ongoing monitoring? Well, that's a good question because you may not, you, you, you're not really sure then what you're monitoring. For example, if you haven't obtained the expected activity on the account, then how do you know what to put, what you should be looking for throughout the client relationship? So if that's, if that hasn't been done correctly, or if you haven't properly risk rated the client, uh, then you may not be doing your, carrying out your periodic reviews at the correct time. So if you're doing an ongoing review and you pick up something that you don't find acceptable or something that's not consistent with the firm's risk rating or its risk appetite, what do you do about it? Well, you have to then review that client again and you have, and if you've, if you've confirmed that there's something amiss or there's something wrong, that, that, that you may not find acceptable, you find that the risk is too high to uh, maintain the relationship then it needs to be escalated in, in accordance with the process that should be in place for uh, either senior management approval or, or exiting the client. And on exiting the client do you have have to do nasty things like um, re report things to regulators and authorities? Well if you do find something that's suspicious then you'll have to issue a suspicious activity report um, and if not if, you, if you're satisfied you, know, you may decide actually we can we can keep this client you, you know we're happy with what, with what we found and, and we we're happy to, to maintain the relationship so looking forwards what is how do you hope that ongoing monitoring will progress in the coming years well uh, i mean i think back to your original question i think it's important that firms don't you know that they have robust ongoing monitoring in place as a requirement in any event and that they don't fall into the trap of remediating at various intervals, that they actually have proper systems in place and that they review their clients on a regular basis and that they react to trigger events such as changes in the client, for example, a corporate client's ownership, that, that you know, this will involve proper monitoring and a review and, and uh, that, that, that the client is correctly risk rated. Thank you very much.